Hello, welcome to this Computer Weekly video. I'm Brian Glick, I'm the Editor-in-Chief of Computer Weekly. Uh, and in this video, we're going to be talking about some of the challenges around uh, creating a, a modern digital workplace. Uh, now, this is one of a, of a series of, of four videos that we've produced uh, looking on at this topic. And in this particular video, uh, we're looking at some of the, uh, the process issues that are important here. Uh, you know, creating a, a modern functioning works, workplace isn't just about you know, the desks, the technologies, uh, you know, what, what you and I as people might like to have in the environment around us. It's about having a, an efficient and effective set of organisational processes to help us all to be as productive as we can. Now, to help me talk about some of the issues around here, uh, we've got a couple of experts uh, on hand. Uh, we have John Chambers. Uh, John is the UK Sales Director for IT and Communication Services at RICO. Uh, and alongside John is Helen Leordan, who is an Account Director at RICO. Helen, John, welcome. Thank you for coming along and talking to us here again. Um, so, process issues, uh, you know, if, if anything is designed to, to, to switch people off when you, you sit down with them in a workplace, we're going to talk about your processes. Yeah. But this is, this is a really critical part of creating a modern uh, workplace, isn't it? You know, what, from a business perspective, John, what, what's, what's the really important things here in terms of processes? I think, Brian, you're right. Processes is sometimes is, uh, you know, does switch people off within the business. But... I think it, it is important. I think more and more the importance of it is being seen where I think we've still got a situation, especially a lot of sectors, where um, the digitization of processes is still, you know, especially around key processes, is still um, not happened. So I think organisations really need to um, consider how they're going to digitise those processes. Um, the reason being is that they're going to support a lot of the probably goals and objectives that those businesses will have around in particular the sharing and the collaboration around data and content you know and what comes with that is obviously you know how you can do that but also do that in a secure way so it's a really important issue but it's uh you know can be a bit of a difficult one to tackle in terms of um, being able to get all of those aspects um, you know delivered effectively mm. yeah i mean you know, you're so true what you say there you know in a modern digital business Data workflows and the, and the processes around that are, are, are absolutely essential. Um, you know, what what are the, the big challenges that that presents for, for, for IT leaders in those organisations who who have to support that sort of process transformation? I think really for, for IT leaders, it's it's the ability to you know, to assess those processes and then to be able to enable them by being able to trying to select the right technology platform. It's no good. You know, digitizing a broken process so you know and sometimes that means IT needs to work with other parts of the business to be able to bring that together effectively you know so that 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 is a challenge I think I mentioned security is a huge one because you know for IT you know the buck's going to stop with you know CTO CIO um, when they're putting more content with, with the demands of probably their their employees and users to be able to access that information from multiple points, you know, being mobile, more agile. So, you know, it's a real real challenge. So, I think those those considerations for IT leaders are probably you know probably the, the two key ones I would suggest. Hmm. And you know, Helen, uh, you know, you know, you, you know, you, you work with a lot of organisations who are, who, who are tackling uh, some some of these challenges. You know, in your experience, what are the you know the good practices? What are the things that the successful organisations are doing to tackle some of the challenges that John's been describing there? Um, I think it goes back again to discovery and understanding what uh, you know the processes that users go through each day, and looking at maybe selecting some that are sensible to digitise. You can't digitise everything, um, and also just thinking about which processes, if you digitise them, you're going to get the maximum return on. Um, and looking at you know, where you're going to uh, gain the most productivity. Um, uh, it could be something that a user does every day. They've always done it the same way, but actually by, by changing one small thing, the benefit at the end is going to be fairly substantial. So it's just understanding each day what those processes are. Mm. Uh, yeah, you, you, you said there, you know, the best thing to do is to is to target some of the processes that give the that give the best return. Clearly, um, you know, for for some of the more mature organisations that you that you've worked with who've been through this sort of process transformation uh, already, what actually are some of the benefits that, that that they're getting? If you could pick out things to to say to somebody, this is what you need in your business case to justify why this is worth doing. I think it probably will be you know by by. Giving that platform, digitising the platform is, is where you can build additional services on top of that that, that genuinely will give the end user or the customer 
uh, visual and, and tangible be- tangible benefit. Um, could be something fairly simple, you know, within the healthcare environment that you can sort of just check your appointments online. Um, very something very very simple, but giving that to the end user gives ma- massive benefit. Mm, absolutely, John. Bring some of this alive for us, if you can, with some examples either of companies or maybe sectors that, that, that you work in that have had a lot of experience of transforming their processes in this way to create a more modern workplace. Yeah, I, I think, you know, there, there's traditionally some sectors that are quite intensive around documents, um, you know, from probably the legal sector, insurance, financial services, and, and also, you know, local councils that have you know, got a lot of services they need to deliver and, uh, and historically have been pretty paper intensive. So, you know, we've worked with uh, Westminster City Council where they are helped to enable their strategy around digital by default. You know, and that, again, is taking some of the traditional things that sit within the business, the mail rooms, the on-site print rooms, um, and bring together those, um, some of those processes around imaging and digitization. And some of those things are still, you know, are fairly straightforward to deliver, but as, as Helen um alluded to it's, it's what you then do with that you know what you do with the um, information that you've digitized and how you can help that enable to deliver better services to your customers so you know i think um you know we've seen examples with, within um, councils but again within you know whether it's legal or financial services or insurance where it's trying to create um, by digitizing a process not all of them but the right ones that can really deliver value back to probably your customers or create a slightly better employee experience where often it's about simplification sometimes because you've got too many processes to follow too many applications um, for a user and they're either trying to go around the process um, or it's not enabling them to be able to work smarter and, and, and either be more productive or deliver a better service to their customer mm. uh, you know, clearly there's some, some several really good examples of, of how this sort of workplace transformation can really work and help people to improve their processes. Um, but you know, I'll put this question to, to both of you. Um, you know, for a lot of people who are watching here, they're very much at the early stage of this. You know, they, they probably know that they've got a, a difficult process of trying to digitize some of their processes to, to transform uh, some of the, those, those sort of workflows in order to, to create a more digital environment. Um, Helen, I'll ask you first. Um, if you give one piece of advice to somebody who's at that very early stages uh, of doing this now, what what do you think that would be? I think it, you, you know, if you identify a process that you feel you'll gain maximum maximum benefit from, is making sure that process works first before you digitise. Um, I think it's important that you don't take a process that is 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 sort of bad to start with and then digitise it because you're just going to end up in the same position that you were at the beginning. So it's getting those processes in good order first before you think about going to that next stage of digitising them. Um, John, yourself, a piece of advice you give to somebody setting out on a project like this now? I think, Brian, in, in this instance, it's it's about trying to get the departments that are owning those processes, because often they would go across more than one. It may be IT, but it could be facilities, it could be others. I um, ensuring you've got the key stakeholders within um, the ownership of those processes that come together with a common goal, because... Uh, Otherwise, it can be difficult to really, you know, design and then execute because you need that buy-in um, and you need everyone to be looking at um, and bought into, you know, the objective and goal of actually digitising the process and maybe delivering a better service. Mm, absolutely, yeah. You know, digitising a process is such an important part of creating an effective uh, modern workplace. Um, thanks to both of you for sharing some of your experiences on that. Helen Eordan, John Chambers from Rico, thanks for coming along. That's all we've got time for on this video. As I mentioned at the start, uh, this is one of a series of four videos looking at a series of issues around creating a, a modern digital workspace. We've also talked uh, elsewhere about uh, technology issues, physical working environment, and, and some of the people issues around this. Thanks for watching.